too open. <laughs> too open. Coppin State Monday 102 77 back to back 100 point games. They also beat North Texas 105 82. The three on the way is good for Cole Huff. And that's what Creighton has it. Uh, he said, I'd rather them take a tough shot than to give the ball to the other team, which I agree with. Grozell, pretty spin oh. move. Jeffrey Grozell, he's a guy right now shooting at 73% from the floor. I love this. No one's coming to help. They don't need it. Seema blocks shots, but the great use of the body spinning off of that font on the roadways or in the air, not, not on the hardwood, that's for sure. It really has been their issues all season long. Top of the key, three. Cole Huff with his second three. I thought you were going to ask him where he finds his suits because he's only about a half inch taller than that. <laughs> Oh, nice move playing. in the paint by Zach Hansen, who checked it. Zach Hansen could be the pass. Bagan looks in the corner for three. And a good box out by Hansen. Here's Zierman up ahead for Watson. Doesn't have numbers. Pulls up in the paint, knocks it down. Really good awareness with Zima back there as a shot. But Biggie's play, that's what happens. Copper play starts. Here we are. Those, those big losses and wins happen. Milliken underneath for oh. Roselle. Great ball movement to get Roselle the good position against Yacht. Stay St. John's ball. And Greg McDermott said there's no one really in the, on this unit right now on the floor for St. How about the job Jeffrey Roselle has done already against Yaqway and Seema, forcing them to shoot over the top. It's really smart basketball being played by Roselle and Creighton. Look at him spin again towards the baseline. And he's got something. I come on. He's going to score right there. He wasn't passing. I don't blame him. Yagway lost it. Another turnover. Live ball turnover. Fifth of the half for St. John's. Look how he just waits. Does such a good job. Probes. Waits for his guys. Milliken for three. Got it. I tell you, that shot, the last two seasons, really played together that much. Watson doesn't use the screen. Gets in the paint. The kick out. Morrell for three. And the finish by Zach Hansen. That when there's a long shot, three-pointer in this case, Hansen doing a great job inside it. And that's the first two points of the game for Sima. I love how now the teams are wearing uniforms, colors that doesn't even go with their school. <laughs> Just awesome. Wraparound oh. pass and a good finish by Hansen. Again. And Watson, a little hesitation. Watson, just so patient with the ball. He has terrific down to score if he gets that deep. And there's a turnover for Yakko. He was looking for Seema. Lucini back the other way almost gets it back. Watson, 14 feet hits it. And that's what you want from him. Sometimes for point guards, especially on... And bounce pass underneath. Good ball movement. Roselle with a finish and a foul. And I don't think Roselle was ready to catch that. Might have gotten away with a little bit of a shuffle. Pass almost surprised him. At least his hands were ready here. Good pass from Watson. The extra pass. And that was just a late foul. Against Mabuika. Wow. That's his good kick by Bowman. Ten points for Deron Johnson. He's got six from downtown. Six points that is from downtown. Watson, the answer three, got it. How about that? He hasn't really looked at the basket from that range much. Seven for 16 from three point on the season here. Seven. Watch out. There it is. Don't need it. Technical foul against Seema. And guess what? That's his fourth. And you don't need it. This <laughs> ball just went to a smack him on the behind. Knocked his mouthpiece out of his and hand. He knocked his mouthpiece out. <laughs> That's four. And he's telling. And, he and if you're Greg McDermott, you know exactly where this ball is going.
Shot clock at 10. Zierden for three. Got it. Now the game is played more between the years. Milliken in transition for three with a knuckleball Man, rotation. It's, it really is something. Nine check. points for Malik Ellison now. Check, check the wind. <laughs> no one was around him within about five, six feet. Seared in for three. They answer again before it was Watson with the answer three. Rosell, six for six from the floor in this game. Watson against Mussini. Pretty move. Maurice Watson Jr. out of Philadelphia. He's got 11 to the baseline jumper. Exchanging buckets now are these two teams. Milliken the other way. Hangs the putback by Grossell. Yeah, that one's done a great job because his teammates allow him. They pass him the ball in his sweet spot down low. Ten point lead. Thomas to the hoop for the reverse. Just because of necessity, and when you get some guys like Ellison back, Talon move back and handle it, take the pressure off. But this St. Johnson really doesn't have a point guard. Turnover. Lucini turns it back over. Watson waiting for his team. Zierden. And now, Creighton looks underneath for Grozell. He remains perfect, that? eight for eight. What about the patience Watson Jr. showed there, not attacking the big, bringing... When you're 16 of 17 your last two games, you think, no way can you keep it up. Uh, wrong, Jeffrey Grozell has done even better. He's a perfect eight for eight. He's hit his last 21 straight from the floor. Well, usually, when, when that streak happens, you're the last one to realize that your teammates know it before you and in this case his teammates have said you know what we're gonna keep this thing going for you and, and they've shared the basketball they've got him the ball in his sweet spots Brazil all right he's back on a streak also you put those guys together pieces that you've already had here and you put some, some nice new ones in I, I think you take that ninth place 